Hello, you beautiful hip, level grinding cats and dolls out there in YouTube land. I'm the anti hero drink, and as always, I thank you for tuning in. Gamers Telltale Studios is at it again, and they're running rapid with their new action packed, story driven game, The Wolf Among Us. In this game, you take on the role of BB, aka the Bit Bat Wolf, and his new job is Sheriff of Fable Town, a community of misforgotten fairy tale creatures that have been forced from their lands and have to go adapt and live in modern New York City while hiding their identities from us. But this community is shook and hard when a murder happens and one of the fairy tale characters or creatures has been murdered and it's up to you to figure out who or what did this. So gamers get ready and get set for sex, drugs, and violence starring some of your most beloved childhood fairy tale stories and characters. Gamers, if you were a fan of the way the Walking Dead game looked, then I need to go tell you that Telltale Studios is outdone itself and you'll be blown away by The Wolf Among Us. While colors in this game can pop and look vibrant, at the same time they do a great transition into this more watered down look with thrown on with gray shadows and shading to give this game a very darker and edgier look in true pulp and noir style fashion to bring out the tones and the seriousness of the murder mystery that you're going to embark on in this game. Anybody who didn't like the point and click gameplay aspects of The Walking Dead, they feel more at home and feel more right in this game than they actually did in The Walking Dead game. Gamers, as playing through this game, you will want to go scour and scan every single aspect of every single room, looking for clues, looking for anything to paste together what's going on in the seedy lives of your most favorite fairy tale characters and finding out more and more about the murder that has happened and shook this community. I think this was probably one of the more enjoyable aspects for me, most definitely was actually looking for different things and how they pieced together the puzzle of what was going on in the game in true detective style fashion. As I said before, and I'll say again gamers, The Wolf Among Us really improves on everything that you loved or liked about The Walking Dead game. With its visuals, the point and click gameplay aspects, just all around, it's more of a funner game. A lot of things feel more at home right now, and you can definitely tell the development team behind the game truly knew what to go keep from the Walking Dead game and what to actually change. The game is paced quite well and is definitely worth your money. Right now, it's only five bucks off the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace or PSN network, or you can go pay 20 bucks for the season pass, which will go get you all five episodes when available. This is definitely worth its purchase, especially if you're not going to go jump on the big battlefield craze that's going on right now and you're waiting to go get your next gen consoles. This game will hold you over and it definitely merits at least one or two, if not three playthroughs just to go try different aspects, questioning characters a bit differently and seeing the different scenarios and outcomes that come in this game. It's definitely fun, it's definitely worth your money, and it, it will be a purchase that you won't regret. That's my thoughts and that's my feelings gamers on The Wolf Among Us. Again, I'm the Anti Hero Drink and as always, I thank you for listening this far. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay beautiful, you level grinding cats and dolls out there in YouTube land. Later.